And thus, Egypt was the cradle of the mathematical arts. Can you see coming from Aristotle? That's a big compliment. There's another quote from Aristotle, I'll paraphrase, but he's basically insulting the ancient Egyptian priests because they wouldn't give him all of their secrets. He's acknowledging they had knowledge they would not share with him. And he insults them for it, not something we look at today. They had a value for pi of 3.16, which with no calculators, thousands of years ago is pretty impressive. I must point out that value is on a papyrus read that we know is a child's school textbook. So we don't know whether or not they got a more accurate figure for pi, but we know that a high school student could work out pi to two hundredths of a decimal place. The so-called Pythagorean theorem, 365 day calendar based on astronomical observation. They also had another calendar which took account of the leap year, but it didn't do it in the way we do it. It basically let the leap year run alongside. They understood that the year was 365 and a quarter days long, and they just let the quarter days add up until it came back round. I think it's 1460 years until it would come back round and the years would link up again.